in today's video we're going to be discussing myoglobin in the previous video we were talking about hemoglobin so this is kind of similar they have different functions but they're both heme proteins so let's just go into it in a bit more detail so myoglobin is a heme protein which is present in heart and skeletal muscle so myoglobin is present in cardiac and skeletal muscle and its function is to act as an oxygen carrier that increases the rate uh, of transport of oxygen within the muscle cell and it acts as a reservoir for oxygen so its main function is to increase the amount of oxygen within the muscle itself uh, and this is highly important during periods of exercise where the muscles require extra oxygen for respiration and uh, its structure now myoglobin is very compact it's a very compact molecule um, there are eight alpha helices which are present within the structure of myoglobin and if you don't know what an alpha helix is it's where if you can imagine um, a sequence of amino acids so it's in its secondary structure that w along the backbone of the of the molecule there are nitrogens from the amino part of the the amino acid and there's a carbonyl group so how it works is the nitrogen donates a hydrogen to the carbonyl group along the backbone so what this means is it helps to form a, s a spiral so this is what an alpha helix is and within myoglobin there are eight of these alpha helixes which are folded together in a loop and you can label each of the alpha helixes from A all the way until H so the first one is A the second one is B the third one is C and so on and another thing to know is the interior of myoglobin um, consists of nonpolar or hydrophobic amino acids and uh, the surface of myoglobin consists of polar and hydrophilic amino acids and this is quite similar to hemoglobin as well uh, so the inside consists of water hating amino acids and the outside consists of water loving amino acids so this helps it to form um, uh, to react with solvents basically now finally just to finish off the video um, we're going to talk about the binding of the heme group so how it actually um, is stable within the myoglobin structure the heme part so there are two residues what, which help to bind the heme group so there's the proximal histidine residue which binds directly to the iron of heme and there's the distal histidine and what this does is it helps to stabilize the binding of oxygen to the iron itself now that's the the video today on myoglobin the next video will be discussing the oxygen uh, the oxygen dissociation curves of myoglobin and hemoglobin and uh, thanks for watching if you've got any questions write them below thanks